Good morning students. Today we are going to see unit 2 prose. I can't climb trees anymore which is written by Ruskin Bond. About the author. Ruskin Bond was born on 19th May 1934. He is an award winning Indian author of British descent. He is much renowned for his role in promoting children's literature in India. So he started that children's literature. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He got the Sagitya Academy Award in 1992 for our trees still grow in Dehra. So he got Sahitya Academy Award in 1992. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. As a prolific writer, he has written over 500 short stories, essays and novels. His popular novel, The Blue Umbrella, was made into a Hindi film. His novel, The Blue Umbrella, it is taken as a movie okay, in Hindi and was awarded the National Film Award for the Best Children's Film in 2007. So he had written many novels, essays and short stories based on children and one among that the blue umbrella is taken as a movie and it got a national film award. I can't climb trees anymore is an exciting short story by Ruskin Bond. The story underlines a very basic feature of our life. Searching the memories of old days by going back to the places of childhood and finding those people who once were a part of our everyday life. It's an exciting thing. Thinking our past, meeting the persons who lived with us. Searching nearby places, our neighborhood, everything. It is a exciting thing. So there are two characters. One is the visitor and another one is a small girl. The visitor stood by the side of the road and looked over the garden. He is looking at a garden in a house. It was his ancestral house where he had lived his boyhood. So he lived there when he was a boy. The house had not changed much. The solid blocks of granite house was the same. So the house was built using solid blocks so still it was not changed a new outhouse was there there were only few trees but the jackfruit tree was still there throwing shade on the wall so only few changes are there in that house Okay, few trees are cut off and few are there. One among us the jackfruit fruit tree and it was still there throwing shadow. It's a shadow on the wall of the house. That time the visitor remembered his grandmother saying a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls. So listen it. 
a blessing rest on the house where the shadow of a tree falls so trees are very important to a house okay if the shadow of a tree falls on our house it is like a blessing it is like a blessing so he was thinking about this it so he thought that the present owners must also be receiving the tree's blessing so when this boy was in his boyhood the same tree gave shadow that is the blessing of the tree to the house so he was thinking now also the tree is doing the same thing it is blessing the owner of the house now he stood on the place where once they had a turnstile turnstile okay uh, what is the meaning of turnstile means we used to have uh, gates or door at the entrance but this turnstile is a different kind of gate it's like a turning gate it is like a turning gate turn around gate it may also like a turn around ga gate which rotates which allows one person to pass at a time only one can pass okay and we can see it in old park and in movies also in some english movies they used to have this kind of gate in the office as a boy he used to play swing on it until he feel dizzy so until he feel tired he used to play in that turnstile gate now it was not there so now it is not there they have changed the gate and there was a wall in that place he still remembers the trees which were planted by him while he was in the flood of memories that is thinking about the past a girl aged around 12 comes to the gate and asks him the reason for staring at her house so he was thinking about the past that time a girl came inside from the house she came and asked her why are you standing here why are you looking at our house the visitor said that he was looking at the house he inquired her that whether it was her house the girl replied that it's her father's house and he was a colonel so colonel is a high officer in army they stood on each side of the wall and talking so he is not inside the house he is standing outside the gate and he was talking to her the girl asked whether he wants to buy the house so she is asking whether he wants to buy the house the visitor replied no he said once this house belonged to him so once he was a person in that house he lived there 25 years ago then he was a small boy after his grandmother's death they sold the house and went away so after her, his grandmother's death they sold the house and went some other place he also said that he is not there to buy the house so he is confessing that he is not there to buy the house he is just seeing the house he want to see the house the girl was living there for 3 years 
so they are having a conversation conversation that he asked her that for how long she is living there and the girl said that she was living there for 3 years now the girl understands the visitor's feelings that he came here thinking about the past and she invited him inside so he invited him if he want to look at the house very close you can come in like that she invited she invited that man to see the house more closely at first he hesitated thinking about her parents so that visitor was thinking about her parents they may scold him isn't it that you are inviting a stranger into your house like that they may scold her so he hesitated to get in but the girl said that her parents won't mind allowing her friends home so she was telling that they won't mind if i ask my friend to get inside the house so she invited him as her friend even he was a middle aged man she was just 12 around 12 years old the girl is around 12 years old but she invited that man inside she accepted him as her friend now the visitor felt himself as a boy so thinking to get enter the house he felt that he was like a boy so he decided to climb over the wall instead of using the gate so now he was a boy isn't it always he used to climb up the wall so thinking that he decided to climb over the wall and enter the house now he climbed up the wall breathing heavily because it was very hard for him to climb up the wall because now he is a middle aged woman he is uh, sorry men and he is not a boy so it was very hard for him climbing up a wall so he was breathing heavily he can't able to get down he was sitting on the wall but the girl helped him to get down from the wall by giving him her hand so she gave her hand to make him get down while getting down he slipped from the wall he slipped unsteadily on the ground where flower plants are grown and broke a part of a plant so when he get down a part of a plant broke down okay so when he got down from the wall he slipped and he broke a part of a plant then they sat on a stone bench under the mango tree so there is a stone bench under the mango tree and they sat on it so it was the bench on which his grandmother used to take rest after trimming the plants so there were many plants grasses trees and all okay so after finishing the trimming work the grandmother used to rest on that stone bench so now they were sitting on the same stone bench they were silent for few minutes the visitor closed his eyes and remembered the music of the piano so he was closing his eyes and thinking about the past the things are coming around in his mind so he was he remembered the music of the piano and ringing of the grandfather's clock and the sound of the clock the twitter of birds which was on the trees veranda okay so the sound of the birds 
and the starting sound of his grandfather's old car so when this grandfather start up the old car it will give a sound so starting sound so he was thinking all about those things closing his eyes now opening his eyes he said that he loves to climb up the jackfruit tree then he was a boy it was his favorite place so that tree was his favorite place there was a thick branch over the roof of the house the branch of that tree had a small hollow in it a hole a hollow in it he used to keep his treasures as a boy he used to keep some treasures that valuable things so what are the valuable things for a boy some toys marble stones like that okay so he used to keep his treasures his valuable things in that hole in that hollow place the marbles he had won so what are those things the marbles he had won in playing the book which he don't like to read so he is having a book which he don't like to read so he used to hide it in that place and few old coins were his childhood treasures so these are his childhood treasures he also kept a iron cross which was gifted by his grandfather he said that he forgot it to take it from that hole okay so uh, that iron cross okay parambi chakra so what is that parambi chakra okay it is the highest what time glam try award okay given to soldiers of indian armed forces for the display of utmost courage and complete selflessness when facing the army okay so actually what is that means uh, it is a award for for the bravery during the war okay so the people who um, participated in the war the people the warrior who was very brave okay got that award so it is known as parambi chakra his grandfather was a soldier during the first world war so he got it from a german soldier okay as a award for his bravery okay so this grandfather gave that cross okay that medal to this man when he was a boy so that boy kept it as a treasure in the hole okay so he said that it may be still there in the hole if someone didn't notice it it will be still there okay in the jackfruit tree for 25 years before he kept it there so he is telling that before 24 years i kept it in that place and still it was there in that place so that uh, girl asked whether he want to take it from the tree but that man the visitor he can't climb up the tree because he was now grown up so the girl climbed the tree and she found the iron cross in the hollow it was still there in that place so she took it and she ran to the visitor and gave it to him so that girl climbed on behalf of that visitor and took that cross and she gave it to him so now the girl's question is whether the man the visitor came to take that cross so she is asking you came this uh, here to get that cross isn't it 
But the visitor said that, no, I didn't come for it. I came looking for my youth. He came there to get his youth. Then he said that the girl could keep the cross and iron cross because she found it. Okay, that man is replying that he didn't come to get that cross. He came there just to look for his youth. To get remember. To think about his past. To see whether the house is the same. To imagine his childhood, he came there not for the cross. And he asked that girl to keep the cross herself. Because she found it, isn't it? So he asked her to keep it. The girl didn't understand that. She is not able to understand because still she was small. She is not much mature to think about the youth and all. Thinking and uh, seeing the youth. But she walked with him to the gate. He waved goodbye to the little girl and hurried towards the bus stop. So, farewelling to that girl, he went towards the bus stop. He found full of energy in each and every step. He was walking, isn't it? So he was full of energy. He was very happy now. Okay, but something cried aloud in his heart as if he misses something. So he is missing. What he is missing? Actually, he is missing his boyhood. Then he was in. He was very happy with his grandparents. He was happy living in that house. But now they sold the house. And next thing he is a grown up man. He can't be able to enjoy all the things when he was a boy. So those things made him to feel something hard in his heart. Now let us see this true or false. Okay. First question, the visitor had hidden a few old coins in the tree. The visitor had hidden a few old coins in the tree. False. The jackfruit tree was still there. Yes, true. As a boy, the visitor used to swing on the turnstile. Yes, he used to swing on it, isn't it? The turnstile gate. True. The visitor had sold the house. So after his grandmother's death, they sold the house. So the answer is true. A girl came out of the house. A girl came out of the house. Is true. The visitor's grandfather used to sit on the stone bench. No, it's false because his grandmother used to sit and take rest on the stone bench. So the answer is false. The visitor was able to remember the music of a piano. It's true. So closing his eyes, he used to think about it. The visitor was able to climb the jackfruit tree. No, false. Actually, he didn't climb up. The girl climbed because he is a grown-up man and he is unable to climb up the tree. Next question. The purpose of the visit of the narrator was to buy his ancestral house back. False. He came there to just have a look and think about his youth. Not to get the house. Not to buy the house. So the statement is false. The visitor climbed over the wall easily. No, false. He breathed heavily because he is not able to climb up the wall. It's very hard for him. So it's not an easy one. So the answer is false.